Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use potentiometer with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. What I have here is a potentiometer module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. Potentiometer is a three-terminal resistor with sliding contacts that forms adjustable voltage divider circuit. Since we are now dealing with analog signal, we will use ADC capability of ESP32 to read the potentiometer analog values. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board that will serve as the brain for this experiment. An ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend the pins of ESP32 to pin headers for easy circuit connection. A 3-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires. And of course, the potentiometer module itself. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I attach the DuPont jumper wires to the potentiometer by following the color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the signal pin. I also attach the other end of the DuPont jumper wires to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow. For this experiment, I choose GPIO32 as the input signal pin from the potentiometer module. Now for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. Let me click the run current script button to execute the example number one. This begins by importing the pin class and the ADC class from machine module. Then we created the pin object named P32 which is connected to GPIO32 with a pin direction set as an input. Then we created the ADC object named POT, short for potentiometer, by using the P32 object. Then the POT object is configured to use 11 dB attenuation in order to work with 3.3 volts logic level of the ESP32. And lastly, we can use the REPL to print the potentiometer analog values, just like what you see in the REPL. Currently, the value is 842. Let me rotate the potentiometer to the minimum position. And let's run again the example number one. And as you can see, the returned value is now zero. Let me rotate the potentiometer to the maximum position. And let me run the current script again. And the returned value is 4095. This is the maximum returned value of the 12-bit ADC. Now let's see a simple application of potentiometer. Let's control the brightness of the onboard LED here with a PWM. And by using the analog values of the potentiometer, control the duty cycle of the PWM, which will result controlling the brightness of the LED. Let's see it in action by clicking the run button for the example number two. By setting the potentiometer to minimum, we'll dim the LED. And rotating it to the extreme minimum position will turn off the LED. While setting the potentiometer to the maximum position will raise 
the brightness of the LED. This is achieved by also importing the PWM class from the machine module. We create a pin object named P2 which is connected to GPIO2 with a pin direction set as an output. Then we created a PWM object named LED by using the P2 object. Then we set a PWM frequency of 60 Hz which is pretty much enough for the naked eye to see. Then we use an infinite loop in order to constantly check for the potentiometer analog values. Then the potentiometer is read and is stored to the variable named pot value which can have a value from 0 to 4095. Then by ratio and proportion, we convert the pot value which have a value range from 0 to 4095 into 0 to 1023 and stored it to a variable named PWM value. This conversion is because PWM duty can only have a value of 0 to 1023. Then the converted value is written as PWM duty which determines how long its pulse in PWM must remain in the on state. Hence, the longer the pulse is on, the brighter the LED. And of course, the shorter the pulse is on, the dimmer the LED, which is done using this one. And lastly, we configure a 500 milliseconds delay to control the interval in reading the potentiometer analog value. For more details on how to use the ADC and the PWM, you may refer Quick Reference Guide for the ESP32. This is the Quick Reference Guide for the ADC and for the PWM, it's here. I will put the links in the video description. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any concern, please do write your question in the comment box provided. As always, the source code that is in here can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the description. If you found this as helpful, please do like and share so that it may reach more people who might benefit from this. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.